It is house tour time. I'm gonna be showing you all of the different areas of our beautiful home. All grown up teen star Tia Mori, twin sister to Tamara Mori, currently lives a comfortable family life with her husband and children in Studio City, California. She showed off her home back in 2018 and she's lived in this modern farmhouse build since 2015. In 2019, Tia also sold a gorgeous home she owned in Agora Hill since 1996. And prior to Studio City, she and her husband, Corey, lived in a Mediterranean style mansion in the Valley Village neighborhood. Today, we'll check out a few of her homes, we even found the listings. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Tia Mori Hardrick is an actress who is first known for her starring role as Tia Landry in the sitcom Sister Sister, alongside her identical twin Tamara Mori, which aired back in the 90s. The pair also starred in the Disney Channel movie Twitches and its sequel, later getting some more movie and TV roles. They were also featured in the reality show Tia and Tamara from 2011 to 2013. While the twins are still super close during the pandemic last year, they weren't able to see each other for over six months. Tamara lives in Napa Valley with her family while Tia is in Studio City, so they had to make do with video chats and virtual happy hours for quite some time. Tia spent most of her quarantine, if not all, in her current Studio City home with her husband, Corey Hart and their two kids, Cree and Cairo. They moved into this home in 2015 when it was newly built and they've since stayed put. The home is bright, sunny, and decorated with every detail in mind, which you'll see shortly. Currently, it's said that Tia has a net worth of about $4 million or more and she's been investing some of her bank into gorgeous real estate since way back in 1996. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer and today we're bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. We post a new video daily. Today Today we're looking at one half of the Mori twins, Tia Mori, and where she settled down with her family, including three of her properties, past and present. If you want to see one on her sister Tamara, don't hesitate to drop a comment below. On this channel, we talk about celebrity houses, but have you ever wondered about things like Kim K's crazy engagement rings from soon to be ex Kanye? We recently started a new channel, Famous Fashion, where myself and some other hosts are reporting on all things celebrity fashion and purchases. Join us, we'll link you to one of our latest videos, and be sure to subscribe. Most recently, in what seems to be a Valentine's Day weekend gift to herself, Summer has yet another big car to add to her driveway. While it may seem more practical, her new designer SUV was far from cheap. As usual, don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat and now let's get into this video. In 2019, it was reported that Tia was letting go of her former home in a posh enclave in Agora Hills, California, a far western suburb of Los Angeles. The neighborhood is located between the Simi Hills and the Santa Monica Mountains, bordering Ventura County. While Tia was selling the place for $1.5 million, she allegedly bought the home way back in 1996 when she was still a teenager for just over 650k. Online resources claim that Tia's mom had been occupying the home for at least the last few years, so I guess she decided to move. The home was somewhat built in a transitional traditional style, but wasn't very specific in its architecture. While inside it covered nearly 4,200 square feet with with five beds and five baths. The home was decorated beautifully and clearly looks like it's been updated for a spot bought back in the late 90s. Walking in, there's a large open living area that flows common spaces together with high ceilings and huge bright windows. The formal living room here boasted a marble fireplace and opulent furniture, while the dining room that joined it had a double height wall of glass. The Eden kitchen could benefit from a modern day renovation, but it was still roomy and upscale with cherry wood cabinets, large island and granite counters. This room opens to a casual carpeted family room with fireplace and built-in entertainment wall. All four of the guest bedrooms are en suite and spacious, so good luck deciding which one to call yours. The master suite here boasts a marble fireplace, huge closet, and bathroom with jetted guarded tub and carpeting, which if it were me, I would probably can. While the master is nice, another sprawling bedroom offers multiple windows and views straight to the mountains. While the backyard doesn't offer a pool, the rolling lawn has plenty of space just asking for one to be built. Outside, there's a sports court built built-in barbecue area, children's playground, and a vine-shaded patio to eat or lounge at. Not to mention, the property allows for 180-degree mountain and canyon views. Tia and her husband, Corey, married since 2008, moved from Agora Hills to a Mediterranean-style mansion before moving to their current home in Studio City. Let's check it out. Located in 
and Valley Village, a neighborhood in the San Fernando Valley of LA and closer to Lupa Lake. This home most recently sold for just over $1.5 million and was built back in 2006. Listing materials do claim the residence was a celebrity owned home and was also advertised as turnkey in one of the best pockets of the area. Inside Tia's former house spanned 3,992 square feet with five beds and four baths and from the exterior it looked like a perfect suburban villa. The home opens right up to high ceilings and a formal living room to the left with hardwood flooring and a fireplace and opposite this space there's a wrought iron staircase leading upstairs. Also on the main level the open spaces continue with the formal dining room and a more casual living room with second fireplace, TV and doors opening to the patio. The sun filled kitchen had a breakfast nook with booth as well as the stainless steel appliances and the entire home had updated finishes throughout. Upstairs there was an office and one guest room was converted into a children's playroom while the large master suite had a fireplace, entertainment unit and private balcony overlooking the pool. The yard here wasn't very big but it did have a covered patio area, swimming pool and spa as well as high hedges for a complete privacy. These days Tia and her family live in the Studio City neighborhood of Los Angeles where they bought a newly built modern farmhouse back in 2015 for $2.6 million and they've been living there ever since. While the home may look like your average upscale family home, Tia went all out with designing it and creating the perfect space. The actress has said she loves her home for its open floor plan which is especially noticeable in the kitchen where she can prepare meals while hanging out with her family at the same time even if they're watching TV in the attached family room. Tia's kitchen also offered inspiration for the rest of her home design since it's their center of gravity. It's decked out with Calcutta marble and natural elements like wooden chairs and bowls while her pantry is super super organized. Tia's house spans nearly 5,000 square feet of space with 5 beds and 6 baths. Walking in you first see the formal living room fitted with a sleek black couch and black fireplace against more neutral furnishings. The couple added a white coffee table and rug to contrast the black. She also wanted the design to flow from room to room and follow a theme. In the dining room there's a long dark wooden table with mixed chairs and a bench for a casual vibe as well as a vintage Turkish rug. Tia also has a cozy screening room with leather recliners and a huge projection screen. She says that the family uses it for movie nights of course but it also doubles as a quiet spot for she or her husband to rehearse lines in. There's also a white and bright family room that Tia says is one of her fave rooms in the home. There's a built in fireplace with TV overhead and sprawling white sectional couch covering almost the whole room. Apparently that that couch is Tia's fave piece of furniture in the whole place and let me tell you it looks super comfy. Of course her son Cree has his own custom bedroom with space for all his toys and activities and elsewhere Tia's daughter Cairo had a nursery at the time. Though I think that about wraps it up for a Tia Maori house tour. I can tell that the actress really loves her Studio City family home and I can see why. So much thought was put into every detail and they've really made it their own. While Tia's house is bright and modern it still incorporates cozy and sentimental elements making it feel like a home. After checking out this spot as well as two of her former properties in Valley Village in Agora Hills. What did you guys think? Did you have a favorite? For me it's hard to choose between her current studio city spa and the villa style home they lived in just prior. Honestly I love the quiet little pool area at Tia's former home and just how private it was. Let me know what you guys thought down in the comments. Be sure to subscribe to my personal channel if you want to get to know me better. I love reading your comments on there and getting to chat. We'll link you one of my latest videos. Oh this is a childhood gem. Oh my gosh. <gasps> I forgot about these pictures. Not looking at that. There's a creepy X there. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and tell me whose house tours you guys want to see next. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.